Have you ever heard of hitch lighting? Well, in this video, I'm gonna compare these Baja designs and the Dow Dynamics hitch lights. These are essentially little lights that go into your hitch receiver, your two inch receiver. But are they really inconvenient? Because I can't see us using a trailer without then taking them back off. In this video, we're gonna find out which one is brighter, which one is better, and which one would I recommend at Headlight Revolution to install in your vehicle. So the first one I'm gonna install in no particular order is the Baja Designs S1 Hitch. So let's open it up and see what it comes with. We've got the pod light itself, and then we've got the bracket that's gonna go inside of the receiver, and then the wiring obviously is right here. So they connected to your seven pin connector, but I'm gonna do that on the back side here. So it's gonna be right next to this spare tire, that's why I'm sitting down, and I'm gonna go underneath here, disconnect it, and then plug in that wiring from Baja Designs. Should be pretty simple, so let's get at it. So all you have to do is reach up, push the little tab and disconnect it from the back side. That's that seven pin connector. Then you're gonna connect the Baja wiring. It's gonna be connected into here. The one wire is gonna get ran through the back side of the receiver. That's the shorter wire. Then the last remaining connector just gets plugged back into the back side of your factory seven pin connector. I know I've only been working for about 15 seconds, but right now I pull a trailer a lot. I have a boat and the last thing I wanna do is get up under here and do this every single time. So, so far, I don't think I could stand behind this product, but we'll see. I do know a lot about the Baja S1 and I do know that this is extremely bright, but I also know that this has just two wires coming off of it, which means the only functions that it could perform is reverse lights. So let's build this really quick and see if it's even worth it. So I'm gonna put this into this. This is included in the kit. It is sold on our website at headlightrevolution.com. We're gonna put it through here and see if it's any good. You got this and then you got two screws, one on this side and one on this side. We're gonna tighten those down and then we're gonna put this into the receiver. Now I do see this sticker on the side that says remove this sticker and then we're going to insert it into the hitch. We're then going to mark out where that pin goes in. We're gonna mark it and then we're gonna drill it out with a drill bit. We'll put the pin through to make sure that it actually fits through the hole you just drilled. And you can take your pod, put it through the plastic and put the two screws on each side. And really that is it. Now you have a hitch mounted light, which is pretty sweet. Now, as you can see, that is extremely bright. Pay no attention to this. We'll compare it to this later. That was the Morimoto backup light boost bar that I talked about in the beginning. But right here, it is really bright, so I get it. So that install took about five minutes, and I know that'll be a lot quicker once you've got this built. All you'll have to do is plug it in by the spare tire. However, like I said, all it does is the reverse light. It is very bright but I really wish that I had more. And I think that that is what Dial Dynamics does. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. Look, if you guys aren't gonna be connecting to a trailer and you're just gonna drive your truck around to haul things in the bed and you do a lot of work outside here, yes, maybe this is what you guys need. So I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna show you how to install the Dial Dynamics. It installs a little bit differently and in my opinion, a little bit better. Let's give it a try. So now I got the Dial Dynamics SSC1R. The R stands for rapid flash, I'm assuming, because there's three different functions. It's not just reverse. Now I've looked at this already and I've noticed that it's got these little ears on the side, which means that I'm not gonna have to drill this. So this is gonna be much, much better. So I'm gonna do the harness the exact same way I did the Baja Designs harness, where you just unplug that seven pin connector from the backside, you plug this into that, and then you plug this into your factory OEM wiring, and then this just gets routed up from the backside into the hitch like this. And then you just plug it in on the back side of this pod like this and put it in. So it just plugged it in and this is what it looks like when you turn your headlights on or your parking lights on. It's not even started yet and when you're driving around, this is the light that you're going to see. It's like a running light. You know, if you've ever seen those JDM cars, they always have that light on the bottom. I'm a car guy, so I think that this is pretty cool. Some people might think this is gimmicky. When you're driving around, it illuminates red. Hit the brakes and you get something like this. That right there is that rapid flash that I'm talking about. The coolest part is I didn't have to tap into the brakes. So I didn't have to run up here, find the brake light wiring, tap into all of that because it got it all from that seven pin connector on the back side. So this one did only take about one minute in total to install. But let's see what this looks like when you hit reverse. Is it brighter than the Baja designs? 
Again, pay no attention to the back of light boost bar. I'm gonna take that off when we do the competition between all three of these to see which one is brighter. But in my opinion, just looking at it right now, you really can't tell. So I'm gonna back it up to the wall really quick and figure this out. I'm gonna use a digital lux meter if I have to, to find out the brightness, the brightest point on the wall. Cause really at the end of the day, we just wanna know which one is brighter. Both of these pods, the Baja Designs and the Dow Dynamics are going to illuminate the back very well. So let's see what happens. Now for the fun part, we get to see how these actually perform. The usability of these hitch lights. We have this truck backed up about 20 feet from the wall and I'm gonna measure it with a digital lux meter to try to find the brightest point. I'll use that lux number to compare the Baja Designs brightness and the Dow Dynamics brightness. The first hitch mount I installed looks like this. This is the Baja Designs S1. Now, as you can see, that looks insanely bright, but in my opinion, I would like to see a little bit more width. You can't always add that width with the back of light boost bar that I'll show you in just a second. I measured at the brightest point, 590 maximum lux. I'm interested to see how that compares to the Dow Dynamics C1R. This is what it looks like in reverse with the Dow Dynamics C1R. Obviously, it's not nearly as bright as the Baja Designs. However, I do see a lot more width and it scatters the light a lot better than the Baja Designs. But it is substantially less bright than the Baja Designs. The Baja Designs hitch mount was 883% brighter. It was almost nine times brighter at the brightest point than the Dial Dynamics. So as far as brightness goes, that's a fail for Dial Dynamics. I figured I could make the light output a little bit better by using the backup light boost bar from Morimoto. And when I turned it on, yeah, I did get about twice as much brightness, coming in at about 110 maximum lux, but still 110 max lux does not compare to that 590 from Baja Designs. Now pay attention to the color really quick because you do get that nice bright white color, but they are a little bit different from one to another. You will notice the other reverse light, the ambient light, is coming from the all new Morimoto XB LED taillights. This is an LED replacement taillight for this Sierra here. But if you had stock bulbs in your taillights, they would be a much more warm color and then they will not match the reverse lights of your hitch mount. We do at Headlight Revolution test a bunch of bulbs too. So if you just wanna upgrade your reverse light bulbs, I would recommend the GTR Lighting Ultra Series reverse bulb. That bulb is gonna give you that bright white color and a huge bump in reverse light light output. If for some reason these hitch mounts just don't seem practical, then yeah, I do see just mounting that backup light boost bar, which is that small little light bar over your license plate, and this is what it looks like on the wall. It's crazy, but this is actually brighter than the Dial Dynamics hitch mount. It comes in at 90 maximum lux, where the diode hitch mount comes in at 60 maximum lux. It's hard to say which one is better because in my opinion, I really like all of the features of the diode. So I might be okay with some not so great reverse light light output and then just add the backup light boost bar because I really like that flasher module. I really like that running light. But if all you wanted was to see extremely well when you hit reverse and you don't need to back up to a trailer, the Baja Designs would take the cake. So final thoughts, if you want the ultimate lighting on the backside when you're working, you really could get that Morimoto backup light boost bar, that light bar that goes over the license plate and plug in your hitch mount as well. And both of these would double up, so when you're hitting reverse, it's gonna be probably the brightest thing you have ever seen. It's a really good idea, but in my opinion, the winner of all of these would definitely be the Dow Dynamics, because who doesn't want a rapid flash brake light or even a running light like this one? Honestly, I'm gonna take this and put it in my truck as soon as this video is over. This is Headlight Revolution, and we test the best lighting out there for every single vehicle out there. These hitch mounts are universal mounts, and they are at headlightrevolution.com. But we also have vehicle-specific housings that would perfectly match this universal rapid flash that you see here, like the all-new X3B from Morimoto. Type in your year, make, and model to see if Morimoto has a housing already created for you.